Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now I haven't looked at an actual cryptic crossword for a while, so here's my solve of last Thursday's Guardian crossword, set by Chaos, it says up here. And um, this is how it went. I've put a timer on as well, so we can uh, see how, how it went. And I'll, but I'll stop the puzzle every so often to explain the clues. Seven across here is desires a soft, small French salad for starter. Now, a soft is immediately making me think of the letters A and P, which P is uh, piano, the music instruction for play softly or soft. So if it's got a P, that sounds like the beginning of a word that might mean desires. Um, and then one may be able to come up with appetites, which would be made of, up of AP, petite, for the French small salad for starter, then gives us the letter S. Now, one down I certainly couldn't do immediately, even with the P in the grid. Godfather recalled lines wearing glasses. Now, that's got a whole bunch of crossword conventions in it, um, some of them quite unusual. So we'll come back to that. Uh, two downs, much more straightforward. Agreed, so healthy. Um, a 4-4 four, four phrase with an E as the second letter. Now, if you can think of a phrase for agreed like that, you may work out that it can actually mean so and healthy in parts, by which I mean that the, the phrase answer is very well. So that can mean agreed. If you say very well to someone, you mean I agree. Um, and so can be very, as in so big, and healthy can obviously be well, and that's probably the bit that got me thinking along the right lines. Healthy can't be many things, but well is a good synonym. Three down after that, good many become guides. Um, now good, it helps to know that in crosswords, I've stopped it again, good can be Pi, P-I, meaning pious. It's a kind of old, probably public school slang for somebody who's very a bit goody-goody. Um, many can be lot or lots, and given the plural guides and the six-letter answer, that works quite well to be pilots. Um, four down, trouble, being on time, delivering letter. Worth remembering that time can be the letter T or any of a bunch of three-letter words eon, era, or age, and if you can find the right one for those at the end of a seven-letter word meaning letter, then you just need a four-letter word meaning trouble on top. I couldn't do that immediately, um, not that straightforward. So I then had a look at 12 across, loads sleep with partners, and I couldn't get that either. Now nine across, though, as you help construct a theatre, not sure I really agree with the idea of putting an anagram indicator behind its letters when it's a kind of imperative. But here, construct is suggesting that you rearrange the letters. And where have you got a bunch of nine letters in as you help, which obviously contain the Y and O that are in our grid already here. So we need a synonym for theatre or a theatre that uses the letters of as you help and that was reasonably straightforward as playhouse i can't remember why i come back to one down and now here is how one down works now this is pretty hard to solve especially if you're not used to the guardian crossword specifically um godfather recalled lines wearing glasses now you really have to break this clue up in a strange way you have to break it between God and Father within the first word. Now, I think only the Guardian of any normal published crossword is doing this now on a regular basis. God is actually the definition. Father, which can be par or pop, has to be recalled. And then lines are LL, which is a kind of abbreviation from poetry, and wearing glasses. Glasses is a classic bit of crossword ease Glasses or spectacles can mean the letters OO because they look like a pair of glasses, apparently, um, which they do, but it's a bit of an indirectness. So anyway, if once you've got par backwards and LL in OO, then you have Apollo, which is a god. 
Now, as I say, don't worry too much about that sort of construction. Ah, 12 across loads, sleep with partners. Now, if you can come up with a synonym for sleep, you may be able to get this. And that synonym in this case is doze. Then partners at a bridge table are north and south. So if you put them after does, you get dozens, which can mean loads. So then four down, trouble being on time delivering letter. Well, that extra letter in the grid has helped here. And the answer's message, with mess being the trouble. Now, 13 across, government managed 500 promotions for relatives. Government managed looks very much like G ran straight away and 500 D. Now that gives us quite a few possible relatives at that point. Grandmas, grandpas, granddads would all fit. And But promotions is the key there, which is ads. So that's granddads. Five down, I couldn't do at this stage. It's a very tough clue as well. Yellow fish gobbled up uncooked. Uncooked is often raw, but I couldn't quite see what was going on there. Uh, so six down next. Playwright's shocking and her plots about independence, right? Shocking there looks to me like it could be an anagram indicator. And plot seems unlikely to yield a synonym. So that's probably part of the anagram. But there's and her between. So we need to get an anagram of and her plot and then use the letters for independence, I and right R. They're again abbreviations. So if you know any playwrights that are 6-6, six, six, where the first six ends in D, anagram of and her plot, independence right, well, the answer there is Harold Pinter. And, you know, very well done if you can get that. Um, luckily, he was a playwright who occurred to me as a possibility quite quickly. And that meant that within about two minutes of starting the puzzle, I've got most of the top half done and now quite a significant jump into the bottom half as well because of Harold Pinter. Um, there was a bit of lag, by the way. You'll have worked out on my playing this. And that's not my only problem with the Guardian website. And we'll find out in a minute that we just don't get the clues at the bottom of the page coming just because we're playing that part of the puzzle, which is, again, unusual in the Guardian. I wish they'd have a look at it, maybe spread the clues more across the page so that one doesn't have to go down and up because it becomes a nuisance. Now, eight across, magnificent, faithful, leader-swapping sides. And I've kind of read that in the way that the clue breaks down. The whole answer means magnificent, but you start with the word for faithful, and then its leader swaps sides. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that it goes to the other end of the word in this case. It means that it changes from left to right. So faithful can be loyal. And if you change left to right, swapping the leader's sides, you get royal, which can sort of mean magnificent in a metaphorical sense. Now, 10 across. Hotel, for example, housing 50. Um, I don't think I could do this immediately, but it's not that bad, except that you have to read that 50, not as 50, but as 5-0. Oh. And why not? But it's unusual to see them kind of put together. You need a, an, a, a word... A word meaning, for example, and then to put 5-O in it to give a hotel. I think I had another look at 5 down here um, and didn't get it. Tried 11 down. Room for hire initially everyone. Well, everyone can be all. So hire initially can be H and you get hall out of that, which is a, a room. English bowler, oh, that's quite interesting. English bowler hat folds twice centrally. Um, you just have to ignore most of the words in that um, and concentrate on the central letters of hat folds twice. That gives A-L-I. Um, normally defined in crosswords if you see him as the greatest or a boxer. But here it's a reference not to Muhammad Ali, but to Moeen Ali, the England spin bowler. So you need to know your cricket for that. Gentlemen, probably sir, sent back fried meat dish, fishes off. 
That's quite complicated wordplay requiring you to get um, Rissole without the soul, so fish is off, and then sent back the remainder, which is S-I-R instead of Riss. Uh, 16 across now with an L in the middle. Intense colour contains navy. So the whole word is a synonym for intense and you need to put N for navy. It can sometimes be RN, but in this case it's just N in a colour. Well, if you know your rainbow, you will be aware that violet can take an N in it to become violent. 19 across over 50, I struggle to get right actor. Well, in this case, um, I struggle is I vi. The right is R. That all follows O for over as a cricket abbreviation again. 50 is L and you get Olivier, the actor. And then 22 across, we've got physician returns US weapon in pouch. Uh, the pouch in question is a cod piece this time. Um, and the physician is a doc, as in a personal physician. And peace is kind of US gangster slang for a weapon, I suppose. Uh, maybe more than gangsters now. 16 down, small boy about four does a cartwheel. Well, circa for about, IV for four, going backwards for doing a cartwheel. Antique is regularly oiled. Um, and that's old because they're the letters appearing at regular positions in antique. And now I start having to kind of move the screen up and down to see the remaining clues. 18 down. Christmas sign up after 1st of November. The sign is Leo, and that's going up after N, which is the first letter of November. 20 down. Bad driver holds up 10 for judge's preliminary examination of a witness. Well, there's quite a lot there. Preliminary examination of a witness, as long as you know what that is in a court of law, you'll be able to get this from a four-letter, four-four phrase beginning with V. It took me a while. I was thinking immediately of viva voce, but that's quite a different phrase. This is a voir dire. And the reason that that's a bad driver is that's an anagram, and 10 here is I-O. Number 21, on turning, whisk ain't making jelly. Well, gelatin is the jelly. On is leg, another cricket um, term, and whisk ain't means whisk around, like mix up the letters of ain't. 23 down, campaigns not getting into corrupted works. This is pretty indirect, very difficult clue. I don't think I did this immediately, but when we get there, you'll see that you need to think of the term operations for campaigns and then remove an anagram of into from it. So then you get left with the works in that case. Um, where do I go? I probably tried to do some things that I can actually see on the screen. So 25, musician, one who used to tour with Queen. Couldn't get that from that. Well done if you can. 27, write, that's to pen. Extremely neatly is the letters NY and that gives us money. 28, friend, twisted dial, not sure it's heavy metal. Friend is pal, that was helped by the A in the grid. Anagram of dial, and then something meaning not sure, which is um, and that gives us palladium. Country with drinks, well that's W for with, and then the drinks have to be ales to give Wales. 30 across, Las Vegas entertains queen with candor. That's an interesting clue. Um, took me quite a while to understand how Las Vegas was involved. But it turns out in this case that it's a nickname for Las Vegas and you put ER for the Queen into it to get candor. So Sin City is the Las Vegas in question. I don't know how commonplace that nickname is for Las Vegas, probably more than I realized. So the answer when we get there is sincerity. So now I'm putting in the operas that we discussed before for the works. Still have to go down. Look at these clues. Priests after the style of church residence. So Allah is after the style of. So P Allah C E gives us palace. Um, hopefully, once we've get dealt with these last two clues, we'll be back up into the rest of the puzzle and able to see everything. Prince is the musician. And it's a kind of joke. Obviously, the musician Prince didn't used to tour with Queen, but a Prince 
might well tour with the Queen. Um, yes, yeah, Sin City gives us sincerity here at 30 across, although I'm still not, not solving that immediately at the time. Uh, so I have to do 26 of down. Region of land has no river. So eventually I thought of the fact that country could be land. And once you take no, once you have no R for river in that, it's county. So in go prince, and now I'm surely I can get sincerity. This is obviously what took me the time in the puzzle. Um, and really all I had to do was think of a synonym for candor. Finally, sincerity goes in. There's just a couple up the top to finish now. So we've got the yellow fish gobbled up uncooked. And once you really focus on the fact that raw means uncooked, that might be solvable. So the hotel, for example, housing 50, we had the, the phrase for, or the word for, for example, is say, and you put V-O, five O in that to get Savoy. And then finally, the yellow fish gobbled up uncooked is coward. Now, that is cod gobbled up, gobbling up raw. So, or it's gobbling raw going up. Now, there's a couple of things I don't like about that clue, and I don't think are standard. One is the past tense of gobbled. That's considered not the right way around to put things normally. Um, the other is yellow meaning coward. Now, I know coward as a noun, and I know yellow as an adjective, and they refer to the same sort of thing. But I'm not convinced either can do the duty of the other. Possibly coward can be an adjective occasionally. But there we go. That's this Guardian puzzle done in 6 minutes 43 by me. That's not a great time, but I'm not all that familiar, I guess, with um, the Guardian puzzle. So maybe that's why it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, I hope that's some help with your cryptic solving. I mean, it was a nice puzzle. I don't, I don't object to it. I do think that some of the Guardian rules on clues aren't all that necessarily liberal, are, are slightly unnecessarily liberal, but um, fair enough. You know, it, it's, it's okay. You can work out how the clue works. I just think it teaches people to be a bit lazy about how they write their clues when they become compilers, but that may be a pointless niggle. So thanks for watching Cracking the Cryptic, um, and hope to see you again soon. Do feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you can also sponsor us on Patreon if you're in a position to do so, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.